Welcome to Graphic Tracer. In this video, we will give you a tour of all the tools and features of the program. We recommend that you watch this video to better understand what Graphic Tracer has to offer in helping you prepare your graphic for production. For more detailed descriptions of the tools and functions, please read the interactive help and view the videos in the help window. The program window in Graphic Tracer is basically divided into four parts. At the top, you have nine different buttons representing the different modes of Graphic Tracer. These modes represent the general workflow you may want to follow when vectorizing and restoring a logo. To the left are the tools and functions used in the different modes. The contents in this pane will vary depending upon which mode you are in and what graphics you have selected. The drawing area is where you will edit your original and see the resulting graphics. To the right you have the interactive help window. This window shows you instructions and tooltips on how to use the features of Graphic Tracer. For many of the tools, you also have instructional videos that will explain how they can be used in detail. When you enter one of the modes in Graphic Tracer, the tools in the tool pane will change. When Load Image mode is selected, you have different options for reading images into the program. Start with Load Image picking the colors for the vector graphic and then creating a vector original from the bitmap image. To make the graphics perfect, Graphic Tracer has tools that will replace the trace vector graphic with the correct shapes. The text mode will help you to identify fonts and replace text with the actual typeface. As we proceed to adjust shapes, this is the node editing tool of Graphic Tracer. Here you will find some very useful tools that will help you get your graphic into good shape. Next is the Replace Objects mode. Here you will find functions for restoring common shapes such as squares, rectangles, ellipses, circles, triangles, copy repeated shapes, and recalculating outline effects. Edit Objects will let you weld intersecting paths and change attributes as size, color, alignment, grouping, and more. The draw mode will let you add shapes to your image and finally the save mode lets you save your work or export it to any other graphic software. If you're working with Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, you can transport your vector graphic directly into your document using the click link function. We return to the load image mode and click open. The open mode lets you open bitmap images for tracing in Graphic Tracer. You can select images in all the common bitmap file formats. You can also open Graphic Tracer files here that you have saved in the program. This time we will open a logo called Active Life. This is a cell phone photo of a printed logo. When the image is open, the program will automatically change mode to separate colors. In the load image mode, you can also paste copy graphics from other programs or from your web browser. You can use a scanner or import vector graphics from a variety of different formats, so now you can even fix logos that were vectorized in other programs. If you have used the tracing feature in CorelDRAW or Adobe Illustrator, you can use the click link function to import your document directly into Graphic Tracer. 